We're starting with breaking news right off the top tonight. Phoenix police announcing an arrest in connection with the murder of 29 year old Lauren Heike. Investigators say Heike was hiking last Friday morning when she was attacked from behind. Her body was found the next day. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Curtis and I'm Kariba Devine. Let's go straight to Team 12's Bianca Bono, who is live near Scottsdale Road in Bell, where police just held a briefing. Bianca. Yeah, guys, we're live inside an apartment complex near Scottsdale Road and Bell, and this is where police arrested that suspect. Police not yet releasing his name, but his arrest comes less than a week after they say he brutally attacked 29-year-old Lauren Heike just about a mile north of here. Our detectives have been working tirelessly around the clock. Phoenix police announcing the man they believe murdered Lauren Heike in broad daylight is now in custody. We received an outpour of support and tips called in. So I want to say thank you to the community. Police holding off on releasing his name, but say he's a man in his early 20s and believe it's the same man seen running in this video. Officials say he lived in an apartment about a mile south of the scene of the crime. Exclusive images obtained by Telemundo, Arizona, showing the moment he was arrested at his home. This is going to take a while for our detectives to still sift through all this evidence. The tragedy unfolded last Friday around 10 a.m. 29-year-old Lauren Heike was out for a walk near Mayo Boulevard and 64th Street, close to where she lived, when officials say she was viciously attacked from behind. Her body found 24 hours later by a neighbor in the Paradise Ridge community. Her shocking death, leaving the valley on edge ever since. That's so close to home. Amanda Barrios lives near Scottsdale Road and Bell. She heard about Heike's death earlier this week, but never expected the man responsible to be arrested just feet away from her apartment. It was even closer to home when the guy lived in our complex. I just gives me like the chills. On Thursday afternoon, Barrios heard what sounded like an explosion outside. This is what she saw. Drones flying around, guns aimed at the door, and I just heard, hear him like yelling, we have a warrant, this is the police. Police serving a search warrant at the suspect's home where neighbors tell 12 News he lived with his mother and other relatives. We know that not only this tragedy has affected the family, but it's affected this neighborhood and the entire community. Heike's friends and family left trying to cope with this senseless act of violence. Community members heartbroken, but relieved the man police say is responsible is off the streets. Yeah, I'm so glad Phoenix PD went to work so quickly and made it happen. I can sleep better at night knowing that, like, you know, the person's captured. And right now, Phoenix police say that suspect is at their headquarters being interviewed by homicide detectives. Mark Caribe. Uh, Bianca, did police give any indication as to what led them to this suspect? Guys, there's still a lot we don't know tonight. Police not yet in a position to reveal specifics about this case, but they anticipate that sometime tomorrow we'll know more, like who this person was, what, if any, connection he had to Heike, and how they caught him here. Guys? All right, Bianca Bono reporting live. Thanks, Bianca. New